Now, please, in Bible interpretation, you must read everything together. Paying attention to context, pretext, post-text. If you observe, the blood of Jesus, which is the last thing I talked about before I went into dressing, was shed in the Holy of Holies. The blood in the Old Testament was not shed in the outer court. The blood was shed in the Holy of Holies. So the animal was killed in the outer court. Then the high priest will carry the blood of the animal and he will walk once a year into the Holy of Holies and he will shed the blood on the mercy seat. But remember, the person that takes the blood to the mercy seat is the high priest. And you are not the high priest. So that's why you don't sprinkle the blood. It is the job of the high priest. Jesus is our high priest. So it is the job of Jesus to sprinkle the blood. So that is why today we have the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. Meaning the sacrifice of Jesus is the sprinkled blood speaking on our behalf all the time. So you don't need to be sprinkling because you're not the high priest. It's Jesus' job. And the sprinkled blood is not liquid. It's his sacrificial work. His sacrificial work. I'm going to show you a few scriptures. <clears throat> Look at your Bibles. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 11. We're going to read to verse 14. But Christ being come and high priest of good things to come. By a greater and more perfect tabernacle. Not made with hands. That is to say. Not of this building. 12. Neither by the blood of goats and calves. But by his own blood. He entered in once into the holy place. Having obtained eternal redemption for us next verse for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctify it to the purifying of the flesh verse 14 how much more shall the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit through the eternal spirit that that is no more liquid that is no more matter the blood of jesus was offered through the eternal spirit Offered himself without spot to God. Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. So the blood of Jesus is the person of Jesus offered through the eternal spirit. So when we say blood, we're not talking of liquid. We're talking of a person. His name is Jesus. Please, are you understanding? Okay, let me give you a little more here. A little more. <clears throat> the book of Hebrews chapter 9 verse 19 to 24. 9, 19. For when Moses has spoken every precept to all the people according to the law he took the blood of calves and of goats with water and scarlet wool and hyssop and sprinkled both the book and all the people 20 saying this is the blood of the testament which god had enjoined unto you next verse moreover he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and all the vessels of ministry look at 22 and almost all things are by the law poured with blood and without shedding of blood is no remission 23 it was therefore necessary that the patterns of things in the heavens should be purified with this. But the heavenly things themselves, not with the blood of animals, but with better sacrifices than this. Look at verse 24. Hallelujah. For Christ is not entered into the holy places made with hands, which are symbols, figures of the true. But he entered into heaven itself, now to appear the blood didn't appear he himself is the blood that appeared in the presence of god for us is it clear here so jesus his life is the blood his work is the blood he has appeared in the presence of god on our behalf so the blood of Jesus is the humanity of Jesus. And if you follow what I taught in 60 days of glory, what happened from the cross to the throne, Soteria season 7, the legal and vital work of salvation, that should give you all of that on the blood. So in interpreting the Bible, you must understand also that there are different modes of communication. 